Welcome to Quick Flying Golf. We're at the Belfry again today, and you've joined me on the Brabazon course, and the video today is going to stop you topping the ball. So we're going to look at two main causes, and then we're going to go through a drill which is going to help us understand what we need to do to make sure we eliminate that shot going forward. So I'm sure during our golfing career we've all been there, we've all hit the odd top or the odd thin shot, um, and it's pretty destructive, it's not great for confidence, and it's actually quite embarrassing, especially if you're playing with, with people who are maybe slightly better than you. So initially, let's look at what a top is. So a top is when the bottom of the golf club hits somewhere above the equator of the golf ball. So we get sort of this contact point here. The ball doesn't go in the air, it rolls along the floor at best, or it might only travel 15 or 20 yards. So before we look at what you are doing to create this top, we're gonna to go through what you're probably not doing. So this is the golf shot where people tend to self-diagnose themselves wrong. So the amount of times I hear people following the top shot and they'll tell me that they've lifted up. Okay, they often tell me that they're looking for the ball too quickly, eager to see where it's gone, they're lifting up and topping the ball. Now, I would say 99 times out of 100, that's not the case. It would make sense that if the golf club is arriving a little bit higher than it started, it makes sense to think that we've increased our, our sort of height during the golf shot and that's caused the top when in fact as I say that isn't the case so self-diagnosing it wrong leads to the wrong sort of fix if you like trying to stay down and through it and that leads to poorer shots and the vicious circle goes on and on and on so the way I see it there's two main reasons why people top the golf ball we're going to go through those two reasons now and then I say we're going to go through a drill which is going to fix it so the first reason I see where people top the golf ball is that from address to impact so there's my address there. And impact, their arms will bend. So the impact position will see the arms bent. Or another way of looking at it is the elbows get further apart. Okay, so you'll notice the distance between my elbows gets greater, my arms bend. And what that does, it shortens the radius of the golf swing. So if we shorten the radius of the golf swing, the chances are we're going to hit a top shot. So very, very commonly, we see golfers take a decent starting position, but through the impact, we'll see the arms and the elbows pulling into the body, the elbows separating, the arms bending, and that causes the club to work higher, and we get the top. So that's one of the reasons. The second reason is where we see the low point of the swing too far back behind the golf ball. So what do we mean by that? Well, we know that every golf swing, doesn't matter who you are, there is a lowest part to that swing, okay? This is called the low point. Now, if the low point gets behind the golf ball, so somewhere over here, what will often happen is following the low point, the golf club is going to be ascending. It's going to be working into the air. And if it works into the air, we can catch the top of the ball. So if the low point is far too far back, or if the elbows move further apart, we're greatly increasing the chances of topping it. If you do one of those two things, there's a very good chance you'll top it. If you do both of those things, you're almost certain to top it. So let's look at why the second one happens, the low point. So the low point often happens when people are trying to get behind the golf ball, wrongly believing this is gonna give them the elevation they require. They know the golf ball should go up at, at this angle here, and they often believe that moving their body to the right and staying behind the golf ball will help them create that elevation. In fact, all it will do is it will move the low point behind the golf ball, we hit up, and we top the golf ball. If you couple that with a, a position where the elbows are separating, we've got a, a recipe for some, for some top shots there. So let's look at a drill which is going to help us. You'll probably know that there's something on the floor over there. We're going to look at that in a moment. So the first part of this drill is to take your starting position with the golf ball just slightly inside that lead heel. So very, very slightly inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my weight on that lead foot and I'm actually gonna stand on that foot, so all the weight's on that foot, and I'm just gonna use the toe of my back foot for a little bit of support here, a little bit of balance. So from here, it's going to be very difficult or impossible for me to move my body to the right, okay? So it's gonna be very difficult for me to get the low point back behind the golf ball. If I try and do that, then I'm probably gonna find my, my balance go. So this drill, is, or this part of the drill, I should say, is going to make sure we stay nicely centered over the golf ball, okay? I can make some pretty lengthy golf swings in balance if I maintain my relationship with the golf ball, okay? Now the thing on the floor here is a sponge. I'm just gonna grab that. And what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna use this to make sure the elbows don't separate. So this is simply just a sponge. There are some training aids out on the market. Uh, there's one called Impact Ball, uh, which is a sort of blue and yellow thing which is designed specifically for this. The reason I'm using this is to show you that you don't need to spend 20, 30 pounds on training aid. Something you might have at home can do do the job just as well. So this is going to go between my elbows, okay? So if I place that between my elbows here, 
Okay, and now I'm going to set myself up in that same position I've just done. Okay, and the idea would be to hit balls that go maybe 20 or 30 yards and maintaining my balance and the sponge between my elbows. So what that will force me to do is it will force me to stay very centered over the golf ball and make sure that through the impact, my arms are extending. Okay, so I'm pushing my elbows together to keep that sponge in place and that's gonna keep the radius of the golf swing the same throughout, okay? Now there is one way we can top the golf ball using this drill. And that would be when through the impact, we stop the arms and we just send the golf club head with my right hand. This can cause the club to bottom out too early and we can still hit a top shot from there. So the focus in the drill is to keep this part of the golf club moving, okay? We don't want that grip to stop at any point and the club head to go past. The feeling would be we are always trying to move the handle of the golf club, okay? Maintaining my balance and moving the handle of the golf club through, feeling that my arms and my elbows stay nice and close together, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna have a go. Uh, I'm gonna try and hit that shot. And I say, we're only gonna hit it 20 or 30 yards. We're only trying to create the right feeling at this stage. We're not trying to hit the ball 150, 160 yards. We're just trying to create the right feeling and get you to feel comfortable with staying over the golf ball and extending these arms through this way, okay? So let's give it a hit. Okay, just take my address position with that sponge there. So I'm gonna get myself into that position there and give it a go. Okay, so managed to do that. It certainly feels a little bit tricky at first. You know, you've got something between your, between your arms, you're on one leg, so it certainly feels a bit uncomfortable. But the more we can practice it, the more we can feel comfortable with doing that, the better we're gonna get. It's gonna train you to be a little bit more over the golf ball impact and to feel that we're working the club more down and through rather than pulling the elbows into us. So very simply, all you need is a golf club, a ball, and something like a sponge, and you can make sure you don't hit that top shot again, and you can train yourself to be in a better impact position and make sure you strike the ball better.